Recently, I read a shocking news in a newspaper that the Kerala government was planning to give an immunity boosting COVID prevention medicine called Arsenicum album 30C to the children who are going to go back to schools from the 1st of November. I read this with such a shock that I immediately wanted to do something about it. I have already done a three part series titled Delusions about Dilutions where I showed you how unscientific the principles of homeopathy really is. Now here is a state government planning to give such medicines to children. In a country where vaccines have not been made mandatory, how can a government take such a decision? And that too, a government of a state which boasts of a high level of education and standard of living as Kerala. If you are a constitution abiding Indian citizen, it is your fundamental duty to voice your opinion against such pseudoscientific acts. Now let us understand a bit more about this product called Arsenicum Album 30C. Arsenicum Album is one of the most important medicines in homeopathy. It is a drug made from arsenic trioxide. Arsenic trioxide is a highly toxic substance used in the manufacture of pesticides, herbicides and glass. The production and distribution of this chemical is restricted in many parts of the world due to its high toxicity. In homeopathy, arsenicum album is a solution prepared by diluting arsenic trioxide with a mixture of glycerin, alcohol and water until there is little amounts of arsenic remaining in individual doses. Homeopathy says it can be used as a medicine for anxiety, stomach problems, syphilis and other ailments like burns. When the pandemic broke out, this suddenly became a drug for COVID. To make the drug, a mother tincture of the medicine is first made by dissolving arsenic trioxide in a mixture of glycerin or alcohol or water or sometimes by heating arsenic with water. One milliliter of this tincture is diluted with 99 milliliters of water plus ethyl alcohol and given a equal and successive jerks called succussions. This leads to a hundred fold dilution or 1C. The process is repeated 30 times to produce the final product of 30C potency. A few drops of this loaded on sugar pills is administered to an individual. Apparently, each dilution plus succussion step makes the formulation more potent and the process is called potentization. I have already explained in my previous video on homeopathy how this process called titration or potentization is absolutely absurd. At the end of the whole process, the final solution will not contain a single molecule of arsenic trioxide if diluted so many times. However, homeopathic practitioners believe that it will work. The reason for this belief is that one of the basic tenets of homeopathy is that the potency of the medicine increases with dilution. The 30C potency medicine has one molecule of the active material present in a volume equivalent to that of 1 million suns. So in terms of the active material, an individual is consuming zero molecules. Arsenic is a highly commercialized metal used in everything from car batteries to weapons. Arsenic is even used in semiconductors used to make computers and mobile phones. Since we know arsenic is highly toxic, it is slowly being phased out. In many parts of the world, arsenic contaminants cause drinking water to become unusable. In Victorian Britain, women used to mix arsenic trioxide with vinegar and chalk. This caused the women to develop anemia and made them look whiter. Arsenic poison is common in India due to the high presence of arsenic in many folk remedies such as Siddha, Yunani and even Ayurveda. Arsenic is even known to cause cancer. Symptoms of arsenic poison include severe diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dark urine, dizziness, anemia and dehydration.
India's Ministry of Ayush prescribed Arsenicum album 30C through an advisory on the 6th of March 2020 in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. In Section I, Preventive and Prophylactic and Subsection Homeopathy, the Ministry advised the recommended dose as thus. Arsenicum album 30C daily once in empty stomach for three days. It may be noted that homeopathy is a government approved treatment in India. Later, after widespread opposition from medical doctors, it was changed from being a prophylactic to immune boosting. I am not sure if anyone informed Arsenicum album of its status change. The scientific community, on the other hand, is in agreement that this drug is neither prophylactic nor immune boosting. We have no scientific evidence that this drug is effective against COVID or any other disease. Modern science holds that not only this medicine but also homeopathy treatment is based on completely unscientific theories and there is no effective treatment for any disease in this form of alternate medicine. Scientific studies on the effectiveness of homeopathy have not been able to prove the effectiveness of this treatment and theories that contradict the very basic concepts of science have led to this particular treatment being commonly referred to as a pseudoscience. As for boosting immunity, that is also a big lie as you cannot boost immunity by taking this medicine or anything else for that matter. Let us take a look at the Materia Medica which contains information about Arsenicum album and other homeopathic preparations and see what it says about this concoction. First a word on drug proving in homeopathy. As mentioned in my first video debunking homeopathy, the first principle of homeopathy is similia similibus curenta. That is what causes certain symptoms within a healthy person which can cure a person with a disease which is showing the same symptoms. This literally means that if arsenicum album is given to a person, to a healthy person that is, it will show some symptoms or rather side effects in that person. Let us see what the book says about these symptoms. I am reading from the Materia Medica written by James Tyler Kent, a prominent homeopath of his time about the drug proving of arsenicum album. The striking features of this drug includes anxiety, restlessness, prostration or exhaustion or weakness, burning and cadaveric odors which means a smell of dead bodies. It also talks about the people tending to have suicidal tendencies, sudden freaks and mania. It goes on about various delusions and various kinds of insanity, fear and sadness to a great extreme. The person is so sad that he loathes or hates life and wants to die and says they finally do commit suicide. The book itself calls the remedy full of suicidal tendencies. Here is another one written by another homeopath John Henry Clark. The proving talks about similar things as with the previous book. Restlessness with anxious mourning, fear of death, irritability, anger, despair, misery, etc. I am not making these up. These are what you can see in their textbooks. Now this is what they are planning to give to your children. The only silver lining is, if the preparation is made as per the laws of homeopathy, then at 30C it would contain no trace of arsenic. So you don't need to be afraid of poisoning from taking this medicine. But who would know if it is prepared in the right manner? How would someone test and see if it is really arsenic when at that extreme dilution there would no longer be a single molecule. Also, since there is no control over the preparation of homeopathic medicines, if someone does not dilute it over 12C or if they give a mother tincture as it is sometimes done, who would account for all the side effects that the healthy children would start to show? In fact, some studies have reported that inaccurately manufactured homeopathic remedies can cause poisoning. So security cannot be guaranteed if it is not made properly. So who would take the responsibility if something goes wrong? I am not going against homeopathy here, but I have already demolished its principles long time back. But I have a few questions for people who intend to take this preparation for preventing COVID or for boosting your immunity. Number one, what is the mechanism of action of homeopathic medicines? 
वाटर मेमोरी नैनो पार्टिकल्स मॉलिकुलर इम्प्रिंटिंग और क्वांटम इलेक्ट्रोडाइनमिक्स वाई डोंट वी हैव अ सिंगल एविडेंस फ्रॉम ट्रायल्स विच प्रूव दैट दिस मेथड वर्क्स और दैट इट वर्क्स बेटर दैन ए प्लसीबो नंबर टू इफ आई टेक आर्सनिक एलबम वुड आई शो द सिम्टम्स दैट द मेटीरियल मेडिका क्लेम्स वन वुड हैव would i end up with a desire to kill myself many people in kerala gujarat and maharashtra have been reported to have taken this medicine did these symptoms manifest in them if not why if the symptoms did not appear does it mean the medicines do not work i went through the entire materia medica for arsenicum album and i did not see a single reference where it said that this substance would boost your immunity look for yourself it lists almost all diseases under the sun but there is no mention of immunity or virus so how did the homeopaths know that this would have an effect on covid this medicine was released as a prophylactic and later as an immune booster even before covid became a pandemic in india who did the test to conclude the effectiveness before suggesting the same there was one infamous study called the patanandita study which was done by a group of homeopaths in the district of patanandita in kerala which has been thoroughly debunked by my good friend libin who is an immunologist in canada if the study is valid why is it still not published in any reputed science journal in fact none of the reputed science journals published anything which proves that homeopathy works instead they are filled with studies that prove it doesn't work why if thousands of people have been given this wonder drug in the state of kerala why is kerala still the number one state in covid cases one of the main principles of homeopathy is that we treat the patient not the disease they say their treatment is individualized one of the reasons why they claim that a randomized controlled trial cannot be done is because of this personalization if that is the case how come the same drug is given to tens of thousands of people in one go where is the individualization here doesn't it go against homeopathic principles their book claims that if given to a healthy person this concoction will produce side effects such as anxiety fear of death and suicidal tendencies on what grounds are we then going to give this to children Let us assume that at each dilution of the medicine requires 100 ml of alcohol at each step. So for preparing a 30 c dilution you would require at least 3 liters of alcohol. If you are preparing 10000 such preparations then you would require 30000 liters of alcohol. Where do you get so much alcohol from? If it is not alcohol and if it is water the same question still applies. Now this is assuming I am taking 1 ml of arsenic in 100 ml. If I want to make 1 liter, then I have to use 100 liters of alcohol. Then all the alcohol and the water in this world may not be sufficient to dilute it to 30 c. And finally, on what grounds does the treatment system claim this boosts immunity? Where is the evidence? Which immunity does it boost? Innate, adaptive, or passive? does this no molecule solution have the potential to cause an increase in our b cells and t cells if so how where does it say it has even if traces of the active material are present how do they trigger physiology to act against an external agent like the coronavirus few i am tired asking these questions so let me stop at 10 here of course 10 is the magic number when it comes to homeopathy It is a number of times you need to shake the medicine during potentization according to the master of homeo Hanuman. I am not expecting any homeopath to come and answer these questions, but the questions are for you. If you are one of those people who believe in this quack medicine, if you are a parent of a child who is going to go to school from November after taking this medicine, these are the questions that you should ask your homeopathic doctor. This form of treatment is nothing short of quackery and is based only on the blind beliefs of people and it is no better than a placebo and worst of it gives them a false sense of security and make them go against scientifically tested and verified methods like vaccination people are likely to believe that by imbibing this medicine 
they have just acquired a shield against COVID-19. And that, I think, is the biggest issue when it comes to fighting a pandemic. I hope you like this video. I will be back with more. Until next time, it's bye-bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.